Excellent. Where you go, a man she anything but calm regular pint size I had a bomb had a bomb just away Welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod comparison video. Today, I'll show you the top 10 tree mods. I'll count them down by their popularity listing on the Xbox mod page, with number one being the most popular. All these mods change the look of the Commonwealth significantly, but in different ways. Some bring life and fall colors back into the wasteland, but others keep that scorched earth look. There are a couple of great pine forest mods in here too. Some add new tree types, new grass and landscape textures, which can all look super impressive. However, all those nice textures can come with a performance hit, so I'll let you know of any mods that impacted game frame rate on the Xbox Series consoles. Right, let's do this. The number 10 tree mod is Overgrowth, Immersive Living Forests and Grasslands. The mod maker said their goal was to make more lively forests and add a touch of green, but to keep that Fallout vibe. That sounds good to me. Overgrowth gives the game's existing trees a fall look with autumn yellow and green leaves. Actually, five of the mods in this list all add fall colors to the Commonwealth. For someone like me, who's just finished playing through the vanilla game for achievements, these fall colors pop out brightly. Sometimes a bit too brightly, but overall, they are a good look. The mod also adds a light green layer of grass. I like those two-tone leaves on some of the trees, like summer is just turning to fall. Very nice. Just know all the still screenshots you'll see, like these ones, are with just the tree mod loaded and no other mods. I'd say this mod is light, it is small in size and only changes what's already in the game. However, for some reason, it impacted frame rate down to 50 FPS from the game's default 60 on the Series S. Not sure why this is, maybe it's just the mod's age. It's not been updated since 2017. Number nine is the Commonwealth Flora Overhaul mod. The aim of this mod was to overhaul the trees and landscape to make things look more alive, but still look ravaged. That's a good description. Just like the Overgrowth mod, Commonwealth Flora Overhaul adds full colored leaves to some of the dead trees. It also adds some dark pine trees around the place, which changes the game's look. What I really like is the layer of leaves it has covering the ground. I think they fit really well. Just know that for the video gameplay captures, I also loaded the Clarity mod and the Sunlight Alignment Tweak mod, as I think both of these help show the tree mods at their best. I recommend these mods, and I described them in my most recent video on lighting mods. Number eight, another green mod, also known as just AGM. This is an awesome all-in-one mod, and there's a lot to it. The mod maker's stated aim was to make a performance-friendly green mod with generated LOD meshes and terrain textures. Sexy. Well, we'll talk about how performance-friendly it is later, but be aware that there are different versions of this mod. The one I'm using here is AGM with LODs Commonwealth. This version of AGM is a chonker. It's easily the largest mod on this list at over 700 megabytes, which is about a third of your mod allocation space on Xbox. But is it any good? Yeah, it's excellent. It adds green leaves to many trees. The forest is now thick with trees and bushes, which can make outdoor combat a better challenge since there's more places for cover and concealment for you and for the bad guys. AGM adds new textures to grass, trees, plants, roads, rocks, ground, and more, which combined change the overall look of the game significantly. But it does add trees to the swamp area, which I think is a bit out of place. I'm also not too keen on the green carpet effect these ground textures can give. As I said, I'm using AGM with LODs slash Commonwealth, but there are other versions of this mod. Some support the DLCs, some have desaturated texture colors, and there is an older vanilla version of AGM without LODs. Just FYI, LODs here stands for level of detail. So if you see a Fallout 4 mod with LODs, this means it contains lower resolution copies of the terrain cells that the game will use to render distant land. What does that all mean? Okay, well, 
What that means is that for these tree mods, it means you can see the trees all the way to the horizon. Looks great. AGM is one of the few mods on this list that draws trees out that far. Here's a quick comparison of the non-mod version, which you can see lacks land detail on the ground here, and there's no trees on the horizon. On the plus side, the older version, even with its extra trees add-on, which I recommend, is a lot smaller in size, so it's a good alternative if space is an issue for you. Anyway, with all the extra goodness this mod brings, it does come with a price. When running Fallout 4 in its default 60 FPS performance mode, I found frame rate drop to 50 on Series S and a smidge lower than that on the Series X. Despite this, I recommend having a look at the different AGM mods as they have much to offer. Hey, liking this so far, please consider giving the video a like, that'd be great. Um, have a look at my channel as well and consider subscribing. Number 7 on my list is Verdant Wasteland. This mod aims to set Fallout 4 in summer. It turns the October Wasteland into a June Verdant Wasteland. This mod retextures all grass, plant and tree types and adds new flowers and leaves to foliage. To quote the mod notes, you will see roses in blossom, brambles carrying fruit, dark green vine leaves, verdant and vibrant versions of Ilex, which is holly, vernum, evergreen, praxis, elms, maple and much more. The variety of new plants is impressive. I didn't have time to capture all these on video, so I recommend you try it out for yourself and look at all the detail the mod offers. It doesn't add any extra tree, so foliage density should be the same as the vanilla game. Number six on my list is another pine forest. I nearly missed this mod when putting this list together since it's not listed in the foliage category, but I'm glad I found it in time. It adds a dense pine forest environment to the game which changes the look of the Commonwealth in a good way. This mod adds a dense layer of conifers to the Commonwealth, mostly dark but also some lighter trees too, mostly aspens and some tall scot pines. This mod includes lods so you can see pine trees nearly all the way to the horizon, which is nice. This is a large mod, it's over 450 megabytes. And there's also a winter version of this mod, which I haven't looked at. I also noticed it has really nice ground and road textures included. natural follow on from the last mod, number 5 is Coniferous Revival. This mod also adds new conifers and flowers to the game world and brings back to life some of the dead trees in the vanilla game. Specifically it adds a bunch of fir trees, spruce and aspen. It has a different look to the Another Pine Forest mod so you get some choice here. It also has newly created grass and ground textures. The mod also adds harvestable sunflowers along with new ferns, shrubs and water plants. There we go. Number four, Simple Yellow, Simple Season Summer. Simple Yellow is a summer themed flora mod. It is one of a set made by Andrew CX who mentioned in the mod description that Simple Yellow is designed to reflect summer with long green grass, green ground plants without flowers and green trees with leaves that are beginning to yellow. This mod changes trees and grass in the game. The other mods in this series are Simple Green for Spring, Simple Red for Fall, and Simple White for Winter of the non-nuclear variety. Note, Simple Green is the main mod. You can use it by itself or combine it with any one of the others, but Simple Green has to be loaded for any of the others to work. Simple Green is also a master file, so it will automatically jump to the top of your load order if you enable it, just like the unofficial patch does. Grass is bright green, which makes for a big change to the game world, but it does kind of look like lawn at times to me. The bright grass is present in the swamp too, but should it be? Hmm. It highlights the draw distance issues that Fallout 4 has. You can see that bright grass being drawn in the mid distance on the swamp as you walk forward. And to me, that's not a good look. In this video, I'm just showing off Simple Yellow. If you want to see what the others look like, I reviewed Simple Green and Simple Red in my video on grass mods. Simple Red looks really good.
Even though it was first released in 2017, it is excellent to see this mod has been updated this year to ensure it is compatible with Fallout 4's next-gen update. Very nice. Genesis Nature is number three. It was released only this year, 2024. The Genesis Nature mod is small, but makes a big change to the looks of the Commonwealth. The aim was to bring every single tree back to life. It gives a strong fall look to the leaf colors. The mod author also replaced some grass and some other things to liven the world up. Dark conifers were added in some places too, including the swamp. Trees are not too dense and have nice fall leaf colors. I like the addition of the termite mounds. They add extra test extra obstacles during combat. Unfortunately, this mod also impacts frame rate, dropping FPS down to 50 from 60 on both Series S and X consoles. Nearly at the top spot is BNS3, which stands for Boston Natural Surroundings. It features various trees inspired by Fallout 76, ranging from maples, elms, pines, firs, and aspen. There is another version of this mod which just adds green leaves, not the fall colors you see here. There is also a BNS Landscape and Grass mod, which I didn't include here, but they are designed to work together. This mod has been updated this year since the game's next gen update, which is good to see. I love that the trees can go all the way out to the horizon. Just know it is a fairly large mod, clocking in at 400 megabytes. And the most popular tree mod for Fallout 4 on Xbox is Ronin 1971's UHD Landscape Enhancement 2K, which is not the most catchy title. From the PC mod description, it says, this is a texture set covering the landscape and nature textures to create a slightly greener wasteland, but retaining a gritty, desolate look. Nature is supposed to be just hanging on to life, trying to survive like every other living thing in the Commonwealth. That sounds good. The mod makes changes to dirt cliffs, grass, ground, plants, road, rocks, trees, rubble, and some terrain. Of all the mods on this list, Ronin's mod here makes the least amount of color changes to the Commonwealth Wasteland. It's the only mod here that seeks to enhance the game's natural wasteland look. You know, there's no bright green or fall colors anywhere. The mod adds leaves to some trees and grass has a hint of life, but it's not bright green. The ground texture also looks good, so this could be just what you're after. So after I finish playing Vanilla Fallout for achievements, I'm now on the hunt for a series of mods that can help to make the game look just right. I thought I'd be thorough and report to you what I found. So far, I've looked at lighting mods and grass mods. Yes, that's true. I made a video just about grass. So which mod do I prefer? I want to really change the look of the Commonwealth, so I like the mods with fall colors, plus good grass and ground textures. But I do also like the conifers. I don't want the game's frame rate impacted, so what I'm trying out is BNS3 and Coniferous Revival together. These two mods seem to play nicely so far and look good together, as you can see here. I'll put out an honourable mention to Springtime Trees as a mod I had to bump once I discovered the Another Pine Forest mod. Also, you might want to take a look at the Boston Ivy series of mods and the Barren Trees mod. Where is green in the Commonwealth, you may ask? What about healthier Commonwealth? Fair questions. Well, although they're popular, I looked at both of them in my video on grass mods recently, and they both look good. There were some issues, so check that out. When looking at these tree mods, I didn't really spend any time in downtown Boston itself, as some of the mods don't even include Boston, and this is mainly due to the impact they have on the performance. Um, I only briefly looked at Far Harbor and Nuka World, but you can just read the mod notes to find out if they're compatible. To keep this video a good length, I can't show everything the modders have included in their mods, but I strongly recommend you try one or two of these out for yourself and have a good look around. You may want to mix a couple of these mods together as I have done. All right, 
hope that's helpful boy that was a lot of information yeah let me know which one your favorite is and let me know of any combinations that you've tried that seem to work well that'd be good to know all right thanks for watching cheers ram nexus out you're off to the scrap heap 